Good morning, Floss Tube. It is Helen D. Uh, happy Tuesday, December 15th. It's sunny today, so that's nice, except these new glasses, I swear, are not anti-reflective because no matter how I positioned things, I'm picking up lights. So I apologize, but I can't see without them. So I'll just put stitching over my face and then you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are doing well. It's been a couple weeks since my last video. Um, oh, first of all, I did charge the camera fully this morning, so we shouldn't have any issues with it cutting me off mid-sentence again. <laughs> um, and I smartened up. The heater always kicks on, regardless of when I'm making these. Not today, because I shut off the breaker switch, so no heater today. <laughs> so I just bundled up. Um, it's supposed to get really cold tonight. I think they said like seven degrees is our overnight. So tomorrow morning, I'm kind of glad that um, Today is my son's last in-school day before Christmas break. Um, and I'm glad we don't have to get up and go tomorrow morning. We can be lazy and in our jammies. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to get some stuff done today. He still has the rest of this week home. And then next week he's home Monday, Tuesday. And then they're off for break. Typically he's in school Monday, Tuesday. But the other half of the grade school... Um, didn't go in at all over Thanksgiving break because we were off. So they wanna make sure the kids get equal time in the building. So that's that. Um, getting ready for Christmas. I think I'm good. I've wrapped things. The cats haven't knocked the tree over yet. Though Emmy is like under it. Pepper doesn't care. She's in love with my husband, but Emmy under the tree. The tree scars a hot mess every day. We just straighten it out. Um, <clears throat> so that's that. We did have this weekend, um, our main stitchy group. I asked the, who, you know, the ones we've been zooming with who wanted to do an ornament exchange because typically we go to Penny's house. Penny runs the daily stitcher.com and we go to Penny's house for Christmas and have a Christmas party, but we couldn't do that this year. So we had an online Christmas party and we did a gift exchange, like an ornament exchange that we mailed. So I will show you mine in a little bit. Penny actually had me. We laughed because someone had the idea that, you know, to keep it really secret, um, use my address for the return address on all of them. And then you won't know who you got them for from. And I said, yeah, that sounded good <laughs> until you get the package and it, you know, the postmark has like the town it was mailed in. So not as sneaky as we thought. Oh, well, I have been stitching. I have one FFO to show you, one fully finished. That's it. I've been trying to get through some whips and finish some things up for the end of the year. So I have one FFO, two finished objects, um, two whips. And then I'm, cause that's not gonna take me very long. So I've also been thinking about 2021. So I pulled some things to show you for that. So we'll get started. Um, so my one fully finished is a new start and a finish. And it was the Mary and Minty cell, the free stitch along that Brenda Gervais of With Thy Needle and Thread put out. So this is available on her Facebook page. And it's a business page, so you can find it. It's with a needle and thread. Um, and I can put a link below. A lot of people are stitching it, so I'm sure you've seen it. Um, I stitched mine on 16 count doubloon because there's a lot of white in it and I wanted my snowflakes and stuff to show. So here's what I ended up with. So the design itself had another row of these candy canes on the top. But once I got stitching, I realized it's gonna fit right in this little box if I leave that off. So I left that off. I did put a little bit of trim. You can barely see it because it was a little wider. I found this box at a local store at Rennie's for anyone in Maine. Um, it had like a cardinal in it and I liked it because it had this metal bow and jingle bell on the top. So it's just kind of stuck in there. I did put a magnet just so it wouldn't fall out because it kept falling out. Um, so he's done. I used 
All the call for colors except the greens. I didn't have them, so I used two Victorian motto greens, a light and a dark. And they're not uber variegated. So he's done and he's adorable. He goes behind me, but I'll put him there later. So that's my one fully finished. Um, two finished objects. I was trying to finish up Christmas things. Now I'm trying to think if I had something else, but I don't think I did. So I finished Jingle All the Way by Hands On Design. This is from her Secret Santa collection. Last time I just had his beard. Now I have the rest of them. These stitch up really quick. This is on actually the called for fabric, which is vintage Tiffany from Hand Dyed by Stephanie. Though mine is a 14 count because that's the only count I could find it in. Um, so I now have six finished. And I that's all I'm going to do for now. Um, I don't really know how I want to display them. I want to finish them like this, like she does. She has a template on her website. But I don't really know if I want more than six. There were nine altogether. So I have six. Yeah, I think so. This one here is the Secret Santa. So there's eight charts, and each chart included like eight or nine rows. And you kind of, you started from the bottom and you built them up as you go. So those are done for now. They won't get finished this year. When I was going through some things, I realized I have a big roll um, of projects waiting to be fully finished. So that might get a video all in itself of my roll of shame, just waiting to be fully finished at some point. And then the other fully finished was Chinese Zodiac by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. This one was a um, six or eighth month. I don't know when, it, it wasn't a full year now. It was a six or eight month. It's got some shiny etoile and some petite treasure braid. And I love it, it was great. I did change that horse. The mane and the tail were a different one of the reds, but I didn't think you could tell the difference with them enough. Um, the heater just tried to kick on, but it couldn't. I finally one-upped it. <laughs> um, so that one is done, and I think I will just frame that with glass because I'll leave it out. Um, my seasonal stuff, I just finished myself, but something like that that I'm going to leave out, I'll probably have to get a frame for. So, I don't know when that's going to happen either. Uh, whips. I did start the um, Stitching Book Club Christmas Carol Sal. And this is a nice cute one because it's small, 66 by 66. Um, three parts? I think it's three parts. And this is the first two, and then there's one more part, and we'll be done. It's gorgeous. Her colors were pretty. Okay, you see I have a needle minder on there that it's a right side up needle minder. Every time I set this thing down, I would pick it up and it'd be this way. And I'd stitch and I'd have to take it out because my stitches were going the wrong way. So I have to pay attention. I, we were watching Mandalorian and I thought, oh, I'm almost done. No, I was not almost done because I got distracted and I had to do some tearing out. So that's what I've been, um, that's a whip. What's in here? I'm like, where's my other one? My other whip, I went through my list of things that I, I carried over from 2019. I think I bought you. And I'm trying to finish a couple things up. And one of them that was on the smallish side and I thought I could do in time was from, some cats again, um, Prairie Schooler, Prairie Seasons. And it's this winter one. But mine does not look like that. Um, I changed all the colors. I was working on, I think it's Frost House. It's this one up here from Jordan, Little Stitch Girl. 
And I loved her colors that she chose. I did this one last year. I loved the colors that she chose. So since they were already like in a bag, I used them again. <laughs> so that blue is, I wrote it down. Weeks blue jeans. And then the gold, the dark green is mistletoe. Licorice red. Carriage black. So I'm just kind of pulling some colors. I need to move the Q-snap down a little today so I can work on the top. Uh, and then I'm trying to decide. It's got like the face and the moon. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to leave the moon and the sun or if I want to put another reindeer on the other side. I don't have to make that choice yet, I'm not there. This one will get done this week. And then it will be crossed off my list. I'm still carrying some over again, but they're bigger ones at this point. Um, Jordan's, by the way, is on her Etsy store. She has a whole series of them. Uh, this is the only one I've managed to get done so far, but they're super cute. That's whips. <laughs> so, like I said, that's not going to take very long. So I thought what I would do, I've been thinking about 2021. Typically, or what I did this year that worked was I took the, my birthday is in the middle of February. I took the first six weeks of the year to try and finish up some pieces from the year before. And then on my birthday, I had a new start. I am craving some new starts and some bigger starts. <clears throat> With all the stress and everything of this year, I tended to gravitate towards smalls. Like the Chinese Zodiac is big, but it, every month was just a little part of it. Um, so I want to do some bigs. <laughs> um, and I want to do some that aren't seasonal. Well, one of them is that I pulled. Oh, and one I was going to show you on my phone and I didn't pull it up, so I'll have to get that. So I pulled out six six things and right now I'm thinking if I did like worked on one project for a week give it a really good start and then if I'm close and I feel like finishing it just finish it and don't start the next one but if I think I want to finish it later in the year at least then I've gotten a really good start on it um, that's the plan Plans change, <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But here's what I pulled out and have kitted and ready to go. And then I probably won't do a birthday start because this would take me right through my birthday. And one of these was going to be my birthday start anyway. All right, Pretty Little Amsterdam from Satsuma Street. I have two of these done and I'd like to do all of the cities she's done that I've been to. Um, and my husband and I went to Amsterdam, Technically, my son, I was pregnant. He doesn't remember it. And I'm going to do that on a light blue. Uh, it's Ariel. You know, I have to cut that still. So that one is ready. Sorry, these are all like just jumbled up. Another Satsuma is Primavera. This is the seasonal one. This is um, spring. She has a spring, summer, autumn, winter. I did autumn, otoño, um, so I wanna do spring. And I pulled, this is Helix. It's a light, light, light gray. And these are all Picture This Plus, or they're all Ada, they're normal Picture This Plus. Drop to floss. So there's that one. <clears throat> uh, Lizzie Kate Jingles. And I'm doing the whole trip. So they come one in a pack. Yeah, Tingles is two in a pack. These are one in a pack. And there's a free border still available on her website. And they look like that. Now, there's a lot of white in there, so I want to make sure my white shows up. <clears throat> so I picked this piece of, I think it's Glacier to do that on. And I will have to change the blue because the light blue won't show up, but I picked another one that I think will be fine. There's that one. 
One of them is uh, I'm going to start one of the Nora Corbett reindeer. I don't know which one. I probably should start with Dasher. And then this would have been my birthday start, but I'm just going to start it. Is Tree of Magic from Barbara Anna. It's the one you get from Nitka Moscow. And obviously this is just a little chunk, but that's that's all you get. <laughs> that's all they give you to go by. Uh, this one. This one came with fabric and floss. It was a kit, but it's like a 32 count. That's not happening. Gorgeous floss. I had this piece of Picture This Plus Valor, which is this like mossy green that I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna use. My only caveat is my final one is this one, which is called Autumn Harvest. It's by um, Autumn Lane Stitchery. And all that green, like the hills and stuff, is the fabric. This calls for a special fabric made by Mountain Air Fabrics, which I think is actually Bush Mountain Stitchery. Um, I ordered it, so we'll see when it comes. We'll see if I want to use it. <laughs> and if not, I'm gonna have to use this piece of fabric for that. So that's contingent on that. So that's them, that's my plans. Um, <clears throat> I haven't looked further into 2021 than that. I figured that was enough. And they might change. I might start one and just decide to go with it. The other thing I planned on doing was if I'm giving those a week, I'm giving those the weekdays. And then I have a lot of bigger pieces that are carrying over that I need to work on. And I thought if I worked on those on the weekends, they'd get some love too. So I want to start with Cardinal Points and the beach scene that I did for my birthday last year, which is not done. All right. Next up is gifts and haul. Mostly gifts. Um, I've gotten some beautiful, beautiful cards in the mail, and I just want to say thank you. I sent a few out. Um, you know, you don't always have everyone's address <laughs> that you want, or you thought you did, and then you can't find it, and that might just be me. Um, so thank you to everyone who sent cards. There have been some really pretty cards, and I got a couple gifts. Um, let me... Hold on, these got all bunched up. All right, so we will start with our swap. Um, like I said, Penny got me from the Daily Stitcher. So we were all doing stitching an ornament and then sending a few goodies along with it. So this is the ornament that Penny stitched me. It's a Sue Hillis. And I don't know if you can tell, but the floss is like 3D. It's really cool. So she has that, and then she has these really cool labels on the back that she just kind of, um, I think she said she glued it on, but it says like stitched by, and it has a little floss, and they're super cute. And then she got me some chocolates, and like a needle minder, and some thread holders, which actually are nice and big, and she thought I could use them for like ribbons and stuff for finishing, which is perfect. Um, and a little stitching with the Housewives project bag which is cute. And these are small, so I like that for like ornaments. They're a perfect size. So thank you, Penny. Um, I, I thought I was gonna be able to show you what I stitched because I stitched it for myself as well, but I haven't finished it. So you'll see it eventually. <laughs> um, so that came from Penny. Um, Erin from Perpetual Projects, who won my finishing giveaway she sent me a beautiful card and some tiny candy canes, which my son ate immediately in the sweetest little ornament. So it's one over one on 25 count, she said. And it's so tiny and perfect. She put a little charm on. This like wood piece is perfect. So I can hang that on the tree, which is gorgeous. Um, I didn't bring all the cards because you've probably seen a lot of them, but how awesome is this from Long Dog Stitcher, Jenny, with her finished Long Dog. 
Um, the other one, out. this is from um, Judy. She passed along a chart. And then she has been making um, pocket prayer quilts, like there's a cross in here. So she sent me one of those. And this really cool necklace um, made from broken pottery. I don't know if that's going to focus with my big base in there. So that's really, that's really cool. And like she said, you're wearing a plate. <laughs> um, so that's a really cool way to reuse and repurpose something that would otherwise get thrown away. And I know a lot of us like to do that. And then the last one is from Crystal, who is Pop-Tarts and Tattletales. Um, I'll link her YouTube down below too. And she made these super cool penguin, oh look, now he's an angel penguin with my ring light. Um, penguin 3D in the um, snow globe ornaments. Isn't he cute? So that's super, super, super cute. So thank you so much for my angel penguin. Um, so those are fun. It's funny because like we have informed deliveries, so I'll be like, what's coming today? And my husband will be like, that's a bunch of stuff for you. I don't even know who these people are. I'm like, nope, you probably don't. <laughs> and I'm only sharing the candy canes. I swear he had that first one in his mouth before I even opened anything. Um, purchases, one thing, two things. Dying for cross stitch is a fabric tire. Um, I think she's out of Kansas and she did a Black Friday sale, but it was different. The way she did it was, it was like a pre-order. I'm pulling something else up on my phone. Sorry. It was a pre-order so that she offered like six different color fabrics and you could pre-order whatever sizes you want and then I thought that was fantastic because then she only has to dye those colors these got here really fast like it didn't take forever she just had six set colors she could mix her dyes up dye what people wanted and got them out so I got two pieces they're still in their crinkle plastic this is like a light gray um, I thought I had the name on it but I don't see it <laughs> And this one, I bet it's on a tag on the inside. This is a really pretty green. I thought one of these, I was hoping this one would work for jingles, but you weren't gonna see the white at all. So I'll use it for something else. And then the other thing I bought was Heartstring Samplery every December on her Etsy store puts out a charity chart. So she releases a design I think it was twelve dollars ten dollars of it go to a charity right in her hometown um, last year's was a mandala and it says whip it good and I started it you'll see it you'll see it in my whip video so this year's is a is a companion piece and it's called lights hope there it is so I had to get that I won't do it on red, but it's super cute. So I picked up that. Um, I'll put a link to her page too. That's it. Um, looking at my list. I, I am planning on doing a whip parade uh, probably in January. And like I said, I'll do the waiting to fully finish roll of shame. <laughs> so we can look through that. Um, I don't know if I'll be back again before Christmas. It depends on life. It might be after Christmas. It's going to be busy here until school starts again. So, um, that's that stuff. I do have, um, so giveaways from last week. And then I have some giveaways this week. But I want to caveat with giveaways. So, giveaways... Um, be a subscriber, be over 18 so you can legally give me your address. Don't say giveaway or free. I will mail out of the US. However, I don't want to go to the post office between now and Christmas. So 
If someone, one of the two women who won the last ones, if you're from outside the US, I'm sorry, but it will probably be after Christmas before I mail. If the new giveaways, if I even pull that before Christmas, it will definitely be after Christmas. So I'm trying to choose things that I know I can mail just from home in my own box. So last video, these first ones were donated by Carla at Cobweb Corner. Um, she's been great about sending me stuff to do with giveaways for you guys. She lets me pick. She says, what do you want to pick a couple? Um, like I said, I've been picking purposely small things that I know will fit in a regular envelope so I can just mail them out and you don't have to wait and I don't have to go to the post office. My post office is really small, so the less I have to go in there, the better. Um, Winter Friends. This is by Silver Creek. And I know Carla had more of these on Cobweb Corner. This one goes to Jan R. And Let It Snow. This is from the Hands-On Design A Year in Chalk. And Carla has the whole series of these. This one goes to Angela G. I did comment on both of your comments, so that's ready and waiting for you to get me your addresses. So then this week, I have a couple charts that viewers sent in. Again, small little fit in an envelope. Um, little house, all dolled up. Why don't we say, I would like to stitch I know it's a snowman, but we're gonna say the doll. I'd like to stitch the doll. Because we've done snowman a lot. And then this one, Heartstring Samplery, um, Sweet Summer Square. I can't read that backwards. I would like to stitch summer. And it has the directions on how to make it. Um, so, doll, summer. Uh, I'll choose those the next time I come on. I think that's it. I hope everyone's having a good lead up to the holidays, uh, a good Hanukkah if you celebrate. That's full swing at this point. Um, I'll be back when I'm back, and until then, uh, happy stitching. I can't wait to see everyone's whip parades and New Year stitching plans. Like Those are some of my favorite videos <laughs> because they give me ideas on what I might want to do. I like seeing everyone's fabric choice and floss choices. Um, and knowing I'm not the only one that you like, oh yeah, like that heartstring samplery one. I'm like, oh yeah, I started that last year. I think I got quite a ways. I did not get quite a ways. <laughs> like one tiny corner done. So you're not alone. We all do that. Um, all right. Thank you guys. Bye.